Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Air temperature and dew point very similar to 24 hours ago at this time. We have 76 degrees in the air temperature and 74 degrees in the dew point temperature. That gives us 94% relative humidity and an east wind continues to blow. That east wind will be critical to the afternoon forecast as the storms again today be west movers. We'll go through most of the morning without much more than just a few fair weather clouds and a lot of sunshine, helping to boost our temperature pretty quickly into the 90s. We hit 94 yesterday. It's a very hot month, one of the hottest months on record, by the way. The way. And as we head into the afternoon, the heat will again start to generate those showers and thunderstorms in inland areas first along that easterly wind flow, followed by nearer the coast during the evening, about a 40% chance. Already seeing scattered showers and some thunderstorms across the eastern seaboard. And that's a good indication of how unstable the atmosphere is. Plus, we have this upper level low pressure area helping to induce those showers. We have some showers out in Gulf waters as well, but they stay away from us locally. Morning commute should be dry. So we watch this little spin in the atmosphere right there. You can see it. That's the upper level low that'll help to enhance perhaps the strength of a few of the storms as we head into the afternoon. We'll watch for that. It's severe weather not anticipated, but certainly you can get some pretty good downpours under some of the storms that do form. Futurecast shows those showers building around the lunchtime hour in inland areas. And then as we move into the three o'clock period, they get a little bit more widespread and a little heavier. And then they drift back toward the coastline as we head into the evening hours. And then we're left with a pretty quiet overnight. Tropics, taking a look here, everything looks uh, a little bit more active today than it did yesterday, but we have one disturbance that'll probably meander out in the open waters of the Gulf for a while with only a 20% five day chance of development. We have this disturbance down to the south, which is going to be moving into an area that's not conducive for development, so I'm not too worried about that one. This is one we'll watch as we head into next week. 50% chance of development over five days, and it is going to be low in latitude as it moves westward. So. Uh, hurricane season still has a while to go, and we'll continue to watch that system as we head into next week for possible development there. Northeast wind at about 10, becoming more easterly overnight, and the forecast calls for a 40% chance of showers today and tomorrow. Tomorrow, by the way, first day of fall, or first evening of fall, I should say. Sunday, the first full day of fall, with a 60% chance of rain showers. And then as we head into next week, we'll be looking at about a 20 to 30% chance of rain.